Hello, welcome, and thank you for joining us. I'm Rosalind Sagara, the Neighborhood Outreach Coordinator with the Los Angeles Conservancy. Today, I'll be talking with local legacy business owner, Ido and Julie from Eastside Deli, to learn how his business is responding to the COVID-19 crisis. But before we get started, I wanna briefly let you know about the Conservancy's Legacy Business Initiative. Wondering what a legacy business is? It's a long-standing business, typically around for about 25 years and serves as a neighborhood anchor. These businesses are important to our city and county heritage, yet many are not fully appreciated or acknowledged for what they provide to communities. There is increasing risk of losing these businesses due to rising rents, development pressures, and closure, especially during the COVID-19 crisis. The Conservancy launched the Legacy Business Initiative in the fall of 2019. We aim to bring greater awareness and appreciation for legacy businesses across the county and to work with community members and decision makers to find ways to support these important places. Now I'd like to introduce Vito and Julie. Vito, along with his two brothers, co-owned the Eastside Italian Deli, which is the oldest Italian deli in Los Angeles. Vito studied at Le Cordon Bleu and spent the formative years of his career at the Ritz-Carlton Laguna Niguel. He now serves as the Eastside Deli's catering manager, and we're happy to have him with us today. Hi, Vito. Hi, how are you? It's a pleasure to be here. I'm so thrilled. I've always been looked forward to this moment of having uh, the LA Conservancy be a part of this uh, legacy. So it's great oh. to be here. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for taking time to talk with us today. Can you tell us a little bit about Eastside Deli and what makes it special? Eastside Italian Deli has been in the same exact location since 1929. Um, it's one of the last remaining original Italian markets uh, on the street. The history of this place and the fact that it's been here for such a long time and being able to make it through um, you know, all those different generations and, and decades of uh, just being here, you know, the ups and down struggles of what business owners go through. So um, I want to ask you, how has COVID-19 impacted your business? When March 11th, when uh, March Madness, uh, NBA, and I, I were all canceled, I knew this was something serious and it was going to dramatically change after that. Uh, that same Friday, uh, my kids' school was canceled indefinitely, and our world changed completely. Uh, once non-essential businesses closed, the impact on our daily business was immediate. We saw it. That first week was just kind of devastating. We, just, we were like, what are we going to do? Um, our traffic, you know, daily traffic here mainly consists of uh, the LA workforce, uh, blue-collar professional public and private, um, and the shutdown of the, the business was felt instantly in our shop and, uh, and our neighborhood spots. Yeah. I, have you had to reduce staff during this time? You know, it, this has affected us in many ways, especially with our supply chain. So, um, you know, it affected us in, in terms of we were getting rationed on, uh, what we could purchase and how, uh, much of it, uh, um, were able to bring into the business. We, we were limited on um, beans, which we use for our soups here daily, our, our rices. And uh, we have also spent money in areas that uh, weren't a necessity beforehand. For example, uh, masks for all our employees and myself. And uh, we purchased uh, plexiglass to cover uh, uh, up the pickup and the delivery portion to protect our customers and ourselves. And to answer your question and, and to to go back, we, we closed for those initial uh, two weeks to be a part of the solution and to help our customers and family uh, following the, the mayor, stay, mayor safer at, at home order. And those two weeks loss of uh, business isn't easy for anyone, especially in this economy. And that forced us temporarily to furlough our employees while we evaluated a strategy to come back safely. So yes, we had to. Is your staff back? So as of right now, our, our staff is back. We've been back since April 6th. 
and we've been operating uh, with uh, minimal hours from uh, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., uh, offering pickup and delivery. And it was uh, the greatest moment to be able to bring my staff back here at work because the hardest part was telling them that we were going to close for two weeks because I had never imagined in my life uh, that we would have to close because I never pictured uh, Eastside Italian Deli ever clo closing in the past because I think uh, we were such a, it, it had such a strong foundation and we were always had um, a motivation to work in this place. So, but this was, it, it, we didn't have a choice. The impact was devastating with COVID-19. So it was, it was the best decision that we made to help protect uh, ourselves and our customers. So I want to ask you now to tell us about Frontline Family Meals and how you came up with the idea. Well, um, the, the Frontline Family Meals was, it was something that I thought about during the two week period of being home. Um, I knew that, uh, our, our first responders were all doing the most for us in this, in this crucial time. And a big part of our clientele is, includes the city workers. And it was only natural to help those who are rushing to the front lines to fight COVID-19. Uh, so we started a campaign and we've been able to feed, uh, the, some of the people that normally stop by the shop, but are now bringing them, uh, well, now we're bringing them comfort meals to their emergency rooms, LAPD stations, LAFD stations around the city. And all through gracious donations from the community, uh, the outpour and, and the, um, the gracious, uh, donations that we've had has been amazing. This past week, we've fed over a thousand people so far, uh, and first responders. So we're doing our part. And, and at the same time, those donors that are donating to our program are, um, also, uh, supporting a small business and a small legacy business that's been here since 1929, which we don't want to let go of and we don't want to see go. And I never want to see that because I think it would be the most devastating thing to me ever. So. Yeah. For, for you and so many, um, people, um, so I'm gonna, um, ask you something a little bit more lighthearted. I okay. want to know what your favorite item on the menu is and why. Uh, my my favorite is my uncle and my dad's creation was the roast beef and pastrami salad. The 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 roast beef is in a uh, au jus sauce and the pastrami is in a fresh tomato sauce and it's all put together with provolone and cooked peppers on a French roll. It is the most delicious thing that I've ever had and it's one of the 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 sandwiches that has kept us on the map for all these years and has created so much success uh, for the for the time of the, of our business. So Eastside Deli is open for pickup and delivery, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday. And if you'd like to support the Eastside Deli's frontline family meals, you can find out how to contribute in our post below. Thank you so much, Vito, for what you're doing and for chatting with me today. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Um, and to everyone viewing, thank you for joining us and be well. For more information on legacy businesses like Eastside Delhi, please visit our website at leconservancy.org.